the ocean was a really safe place for me, mm. even though it can be deathly and, um, and scary. But that's the place where I go to, I call it just washing off the day. Yeah, the ocean's that place for me to just, you just wholeheartedly concentrate on you. Yeah. Everything. There were times where it was real tough. Mum always said that we've got to have a, a house near the beach because if, we're, if the boys are in the ocean, they're out of trouble. Her just making those decisions changed our world. I met a gypsy. When you were at like the peak of fame going through like winning the world titles, what was your relationship like to that? Like you talked about you got Blakey doing some of the like external PR stuff. Like how did, what was your view on it or how did you feel about it? Because you, you talk to some guys and they just didn't want a part of it. It's like, I, I just there to ride or surf or whatever. Like I don't want to deal with it. And there's other guys that like kind of embrace it. Like, where did you fit on that spectrum? Um, look, it's it's part of the job yeah. in some sense. Um, but also, too, there's part of it where I just wanted to just be me. Yeah. Um, you know, I guess probably the the peak the peak of it all was after the um, the shark incident where oh yeah there were camera crews just lined up out the front of my house. What? Yeah, and and I was just like, I don't want this. Yeah. I don't want this. Um, you know, I just want to get on with it. Yeah. I want to get on with life. And and that part of it, I was just like, nah. Where and Ronnie knew he was just like, he knows what I'm like. Yeah, he would always he would always ask the question, do you want to do this or do you want to do that? And he wouldn't fight me. Oh, you should. Yeah, you know, yeah. he'd be. I'd be like, oh, I don't really want to. Or if I was a bit unsure, I was like, what do you think? You know. Um, but there were situations, especially around that time, where like we got offered to get flown to LA and do talk shows and all that kind of stuff. It's so like, nah, we're not doing it. <laughs> I'm over it. <laughs> um, but yeah, it is part of the job. Yeah. Um, and unfortunately or fortunately whichever way you go you've got to you got to take it yeah you got to know at times for yeah, sure yeah how was that whole shark deal like did that almost feel like the biggest thing in your career in a sense or like because there would be some people that would only know you yeah for that you know which is such a crazy thing to think because it's like here's this dude that's achieved as much as anybody ever that's ever paddled into a wave on a surfboard and then, like, that's the thing. Yeah. It sort of... That situation sort of hit me a few different times. Um, one was, you know, flying home from South Africa and Julian and I get whisked straight into a, a press conference as we land. Who organised it? Um, I don't even know. I was so <laughs> off the planet. Um, but when you, you land and it's... And I look out at who's there and it's the biggest anchors in every different network. And I'm just like... In Australia? Um, they were international was... as well. Okay. We flew into Sydney. Okay, yeah. But I was just like, holy shit, this is bigger than what I thought. Um, and so, yeah, that was part of it. Like that was the media side of it. And then um, a couple of months later, I'm flying to, to Trestles for... Uh, an event and like I could easily walk through um, LAX, LAX and be and sweet no one would ever recognize me yeah and I'm just walking up the ramp and some guy looked like he'd never been to the beach before in his life he just goes <laughs> hey shark guy I'm like fuck <laughs> I was just like heavy uh, yeah um, and yeah look some people look at it as um, you know that's the only thing that happened in my career but you know i know who i am i yeah i look at it just as an incident and um yeah i don't need external people to tell me what was good or what was bad like yeah i i know <laughs> dude i remember watching that live like i was literally watching the live stream of that heat and i'm the screaming at the thing i was like no 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 like yeah. it was that was such a fucking heavy because it was so live 
Yeah. <laughs> like, as live as a sporting <laughs> event gets, you know, there's, like, no delays. There's no... Like, everyone saw that in real time. Yeah. And I remember sitting there thinking, like, they're fucking dead. Yeah. And that it was one of the... It was such a weird experience to be, like, on the other... Because normally, if that was, like, a... NFL or you know it's like something like that happened like yeah you, it's on enough of a delay to where like you wouldn't really see it or like the they could they could but that whole thing just went and it was fucking heavy yeah it was it was weird like I guess also too like um like when it happened like we jumped on the boat and we're so full of adrenaline we're just so psyched yeah like, we didn't <laughs> yeah, know yeah. what was going on and and you know we come in on the beach and. Um, like I was like, let's just paddle in, let's just get out of here and and um, yeah, go home. And it wasn't until I got back to the competitors area and just saw everyone bawling their eyes out. Yeah, like, holy shit! And then I saw the footage. I was like, holy shit! And then um, I was sort of, you know, I was still running on fight or flight in that situation. And it wasn't until I ran into um, a friend. Um, a, a wife of Ace Bucken, yeah, um, yeah, Bet Bucken, and I saw her, and she was sort of like the first motherly figure I saw. I fucking crumbled. Yeah, yeah. I can imagine. Yeah, it. just almost fell to the ground and barely walk. Like it was wild, but yeah, it wasn't until I got to the beach and everyone was there and um, sort of saw their reactions. Yeah, um, like I don't know if I never saw the footage. Yeah, maybe I would have been that. God damn macho man or something. But yeah, once I saw her, I was like, holy shit. Yeah, dude. And just the fact that it was live. Yeah. Everyone could see it. Yeah. You know, like it just wasn't... Even like the impact of it, if it was only the people at the event that saw it and it never got like broadcasted, it'd be just like a totally different, different thing. thing. But just yeah. like that feeling of like so many people being on the other side of the screen, like feeling helpless in that situation. It was like it's a it's a very strange situation to have happen you oh, know like for sure. even for the people on the other side of screens yeah like speaking to mum and, and family and friends about it like they were just like mum tried to jump through the screen oh yeah. I can't even um, imagine yeah but it's yeah it was just weird it was super weird dude Jules gets man of the like world award eh? <laughs> like if there's like a litman's test of like are you a man yeah. <laughs> and it's like you either swim away from the shark or you swim towards the oh. shark jules you pass flying yeah. goals i know i was yelling at him too i was like go 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 um but yeah he was just charging on and yeah had so brave and courageous like that's yeah always indebted in in yeah. that sense you know have you had you had any other shark encounters before see them yeah you know but not like that not like that no yeah. like yeah it's a pretty wild edge case yeah. <laughs> it's like the worst case scenario yeah yeah and I, I was extremely lucky it was yeah it's just one of those ones where you just like just got lucky yeah yeah no it was it was I think the next thing once everyone was like holy fuck we almost watched McFadden die everyone was just like how good is it to be an Aussie? <laughs> <laughs> like that was that was like the yeah. next thing where I was like, "Fuck, I'm one of those boys, kind of." It's kind of sorta. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, no, it it was weird. Like we had, um, we had a barbecue that night at my house. It was like going to your own wake. <laughs> oh, it was dude. so weird. It was like everyone be laughing right for you know, you know, having so much fun. And then all of a sudden, you'd look around, everyone would be bawling their eyes out. It was it was so weird. It was so weird. But Dude. Yeah. You know, I was yeah very lucky to be surrounded by people that really cared and, and um, yeah, supported me getting home, for sure. We're excited to announce the launch of our new membership site, gypsytales.com, packed with exclusive content and perks that you won't find anywhere else. This is your chance to become a part of the Gypsy Gang. And as a special bonus, if you sign up to an annual membership, you'll be entered into the draw to win our custom-built TC125. Gypsy Gang.